Hello Watch fans, it's Anders here on Watch On Channel. Today, a review of my very first Eterna watch. So, just very shortly about the brand Eterna, before I show you the watch and do the full review of this watch. Eterna is a very old Swiss brand, as you can see, since 1856. And they're quite famous and they're quite renowned because they actually made some very famous models and they are what we can call a true Swiss watchmaker because they actually produce their own movements. So you can actually buy Eterna watches with in-house movements and Eterna actually also sells their movements to other companies. So in recent years, a company like Monta, which is this very, very fast growing entry level luxury sports watch company based in the US, they actually in their first models used Eterna movements. The problem was that it, they were quite hard to get service, so they went to Celita movements. But it's quite cool that Eterna with the history actually is a true Swiss watchmaker. And they're maybe most famous for their Contigi and Super Contigi line of watches. So this watch I bought on drop.com, which is the former mass drop, and it comes in this nice light blue box, which kind of resembles leather, so inside we find the watch. And this is a simple three-handed dress watch with a date complication. Inside you also find manual, a uh, fiber cloth and warranty of course, but the watch is the most important thing here with this review. So it comes on a leather strap. This is the Eterna Eternity and this is kind of the very affordable kind of entry-level dress watch classic watch line within the collections of the companies in some places of the world you have to pay customs and stuff like that but it should be attainable at less than 500 us dollars which i think is quite a nice price for a watch from such a renowned brand and also with a swiss movements so this unfortunately isn't an Eterna movement, this is a Celita SW200 movement. And this is because the Eterna movements are much more expensive than the Celita SW200 movements. But this is a Swiss made movement and as we can see, they actually did some nice decorations. You get the customary Eterna rotor, which has Geneva striping. And you can see the movement also have some, has some nice pelage inside of it. So it, it looks really good in my opinion. And you can see it on the other side. So a simple three-handed date movement. This has a, also a water resistance of 50 meters. And it's very nice with a sapphire crystal see-through case back on this watch. So having a look at the front of this watch, it's a very simple three-handed watch with a date, a Turner and a Turner logo, which is kind of this star at 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, you get since... 1856 and then you get Swiss made at the bottom date window here black on white very very simple hands ever so slightly domed sapphire crystal which is really really nice and then you get this kind of dark gray sunburst effect dial which just has a very warm and beautiful look to it in my opinion the watch is in very classic dimensions because you get approximately 38 millimeters, 38 and a half millimeters, approximately 10 and a half millimeters in thickness, lock width of 20, so it's very easy to change to another strap if you want to put another strap on this watch. Lock to lock, you get 46 millimeters, so super classic dimensions with this watch. Another interesting aspect with this watch is definitely the case because you can see we get the upper part, the high polish bezel, which you will see when you just are wearing the watch. Then you get kind of a middle part here, which is also polished. And then you get the last part at the bottom here, which is kind of a screw down or inserted case back in some way. So it's a kind of three part case. So you get a signed crown, which is very small. And then you get these very, very simple, very, very small locks, which are really resembling vintage watches, in my opinion. It comes on this kind of alligator style black Eterna leather strap. I was very unconvinced by this strap when I just got the watch because it was very stiff, but 
after I've been wearing this watch for a few weeks, it really softens up very fast and then it becomes very, very nice to wear. It's not the best strap, but it's definitely much better than you find on a lot of Seiko and Orient watches and stuff like that. Not to compare this watch in any way with those watches and brands. This is definitely a strap that is acceptable, but it's not the highest quality. It looks good, but maybe a nice distressed brown leather strap would look good on this watch. I tested this watch, as you can see on your screen now, on the time grapher, and it's not very convincing. In some positions, I get approximately 7 seconds plus, and then I get up to these 10, 11 seconds plus. So maybe between 7 and 11 seconds plus a day, which tells me that Eterna doesn't regulate the Celita SW movement on this watch, because then it should be a little more accurate. In my opinion, it's no big problem. It's not a very expensive watch, and... I can definitely live with less than 10 seconds or 10 seconds a day plus with this watch. I tend to notice that if I wear this watch for a few days, it becomes more accurate. So maybe the movement just need, needs to be running to become a little more accurate. So all in all, a very simple three-handed dress watch, which I really just like because it's so simple. It's a very simple Swiss made dress watch. And I really thought that I needed this very simple watch in my collection because this is a watch I can just wear. Very relaxing, no fuss about it, it very, it's very easy. And it's also the perfect go out uh, to a bar during the night watch because it's not very expensive and I wouldn't be too sad if I scratched this watch, for example. I would be much more sad if I scratched one of my more expensive watches. But this definitely has a place in my collection and I'm really, really happy that I, I decided to buy this watch. Also, as we see here, a signed buckle. So this is how this 38.5 millimeter Eterna Eternity wears on my 18 centimeter wrist in circumference. As you can see, it wears extremely slim. It has almost this kind of old school pie pan shape to the case. And it wears really, really closely to the wrist, as you can see at the start, because I thought that the strap was a little too stiff. It, it actually wore like this. But now you can see it just really softens up and then you get the watch to really hug your wrist. So I'm really happy about how this watch wears. It's a nice little Swiss made Eterna watch and I'm really happy about my first Eterna watch because that's a brand I have really been looking into for some time. This isn't the highest end of watches but it's also maybe a little boring but I think it fills a nice space in my personal collection. So I can definitely recommend this watch if you want something very very simple, very classic looking in your collection. A classic dress watch which is from a renowned and historical brand. I hope you enjoyed the review of the Turner Eternity watch. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. I will see you very soon again with much more content. Thank you. Bye.